Barnett and Fylde. They need the points, these two, actually, if they're to claw any kind of ground back on the teams above them in the Vanarama National League. Away we go. Two sides who, despite their league positions, are still hoping to push towards the playoffs. And two sides, Adam, who aim to play attractive football. Well, both sides do like to get the ball down on the ground, and Barnett especially do like playing on the counter-attack. That's exactly what they're doing here. And here's Akinola. Danger man for Barnett. Matonda. Akinola. Taylor, Jack Taylor. Creator in chief. To Dunn. That's a loose, loose pass. Tenya. These players were massively underperforming for Dave Challoner and they've now certainly picked up recently. Akinola. Get the ball into the box and oh goodness me, so close in the opening two minutes. Josh Walker flashing a shot across the face of goal. Uh, really, really good. Two good chances now for Barnett early on. Playing really, really well on the counter attack. Kinola yes. yes. is going to have a go. It's an awkward deflection, and this is awkward for Fylde, but it's claimed by Hornby in the end. It's difficult for them there to get plenty of touches on the ball, the midfielder. Taylor, Von Gook, he's going to get the ball here. Hints of handball. Barnett still have it. And a shot from Walker. Comfortable for Hornby, but it's been busy so far. Josh Walker. And that's the situation, really, for Fylde at the moment, is that been second best in these opening 13 minutes or so, but it's still nil-nil. Burke goes long, little clip ball that Johnson has to deal with. And Von Gook kept that in play inadvertently, really, because it had a possession to file, but the turnovers happening repeatedly. Bradley, the diagonal up towards Rowe, who got his head to it, Williams pitting the defender back here. Still Williams, twisting, turning, it's going to break to Bradley. And still Bradley looked like he handled it. On we go. And Rowe, and held by Loach. First awkward moment for Yeah, Barnett. I mean, it's certainly the best opportunity of the game so far. Matonda. Tofondo. Now done. Yellow boots, moving it wide. To Alexander. Wants to run at Yates. Still Alexander on his left foot. Going to do more than that, really, to beat Hornby from there. A step forward from Tatonda. On Gook again. Taylor, he's going to have a go. And he knows how to shoot from that sort of range. He's got that ability as well. Yeah, he's got a few goals from this kind of range outside the box. on that oh Loach just for a second there a little worry now Johnson Jack Taylor the give and go to Tonda goes down referee not interested plenty of looks towards Iani and they're still not happy have a closer look at that. To Tonda. Taylor. Still Taylor. On he goes! And that is Jack Taylor. That's what he does. Barnett's standout player, perhaps one of the league's standout players, has put the bees in front with persistence and precision. They've got their breakthrough, the hosts. Well, he'll probably feel that his side deserve a goal in terms of the possession they've had. And again, they get a little bit lucky, though. Crowsdale doesn't really deal with the bubble that comes into him. You get a slight bit of fortune there, but Jack Taylor was looking for the give and go, and he just stayed on the front foot.
and when he gets in that situation on his weaker left foot, strikes it brilliantly past San Horby. Good control goal there from him. Johnson. Canola. Still up Canola. It's been relatively quiet in this first half. Top scorer, Taylor gets it back. Class from Taylor. Can he pick a player out the last? Still have it, Barnett. And you feel a second is coming before half time. Oh, just be a little bit more selfish there, Jack Taylor, and open his body out and really fizz that ball into the right hand side of the goal. Alexander. Chips it back and it goes from Taylor. Is he going to drop to a Barnett shirt? And that looks like a free kick conceded by Taylor, the man of the half so far, no doubt. Short from Taylor. Final chance to get the ball into the penalty area. There's the half-time whistle. So far, so good for Derek Curry. His side, a goal up, thanks to that man there, Jack Taylor, with a solo effort that separates the sides at the break. Canola. Here he goes, showing that upper body strength, tried to feed through his teammate and an effort from distance from who else but Taylor. <laughs> Hasn't had much defending to do, actually, Che Alexander. Very high up the pitch in this particular game. Taylor, lovely, lovely play from him. And Fonguk driving through the middle, and they've opened them up here to Tonda, slipping. At precisely the wrong moment. Could keep his footing after all the lovely build-up from Barnett. To Tonda. No shimmy from him. Von Gook again. They're playing with a lot of confidence, the Barnett players, which hasn't been said all season. Taylor, he's going to have a go, you know! And it's saved by Hornby. He is brimming with confidence himself. Yeah, great little opportunity there. Shot coming towards him. Strikes it well. It's a decent height for San Horby to make the save, but hit the target. Decent strike there from Taylor. Clip ball into the penalty area, dealt with by Reynolds. As far as Horton, he's going to get a free kick here. Nick Horton, seeded by Dunn. He's certainly going to have a go here. Not to tempt fate, but keep your eyes on this one. An awkward angle, perhaps, for Rowe. Gonna have a go. Danny Rowe! There you go! You can't keep him out of the goals for too long. Danny Rowe gets filed level after all the domination of Barnett in this game. It's 1-1. Well, this is what Fard are all about not playing well and then just relying on Danny Rowe to get themselves out of a situation. And the minutes of pause at the moment for the recent passing of former Barnet player and manager Billy Meadows, who passed at the age of 77, played 150 matches for the club for taking over as manager in the 1970s and a nice touch from the locals here. Out the pitch for him at the moment. Needs a good ball in, and there is a good ball in. Montrose gets it away. First action from Sparks on the left hand side. Rowe. Alexander. to take the corner and he goes towards the near post dangerous ball in he's had a couple of deliveries so far the substitute that have caused that far defensive problems jack taylor receives the ball from brother harry and he create one final little chance here for the home side taylor clipping it through alexander chasing gonna get a corner here elvis look 
Jim Bentley's face as it goes to the corner. And a winner! Akinola! He's been quiet all game, but he's there when it matters. The man who scored the hat-trick last time out continues his goal run and delight for Darren Curry and Barnett right at the end. Surely the winner. Well, talk about a bullet head up from a corner. Sparks just puts a brilliant ball in there to say, go on, someone go and attack him. And it's Akinola. It's Luke Berthers marking him and he just loses him. And he attacks the ball brilliantly. No keeper in the world is going to save that. Brilliant goal for Darren Curry's side and what an important goal that could be. Full-time whistle, dramatic victory for Darren Curry and Barnett. They won it right at the death there in the last few seconds of the game. They did have a half-time lead, but that man there, Akinola, Simeon Akinola, with the last gasp winner.